Welcome to Ohio GOP TV, coming to you this week from Dublin, Ohio, where 200 Republican candidates and activists gathered on Saturday for the Ohio Republican Party's annual candidate training seminar. Participants at this year's seminar heard from some of the nation's top Republican campaign consultants on everything from how to write a campaign plan to how to turn out the vote. There's a few things that you have to do, um, whether you're the leader of an organization or running for office or coaching a ball team or whatever it is, you've got to get to the point where say, do they believe that you have integrity, personal integrity? Do people connect with you and trust you and uh, care about what you have to say or do they think that you care about what's important to them? The campaign has three basic elements. And I'm sure most of you have heard these three elements before, okay? And those elements are what? Time, people, and money. What's the most important of those three? Time, that's right, why is it time? Because time will get you more money and time can get you more people, all right? More people and more money is not gonna get you more time. The, the clock is ticking on races in 2009, right now, 2010, the clock is ticking. You can never get that time back. So you gotta be efficient with your time and figure out what you're gonna do. Earlier this week, John Kasich officially kicked off his campaign for governor with a major rally in his hometown of Westerville, where hundreds of people gathered to hear his vision for leading Ohio. This is like deja vu all over again. John, how can you balance the budget, cut taxes, and pay down debt? That's impossible. Well, let me tell you, we skinny down the government, we make it efficient, we stabilize the situation, and then we march over time. We march over time to destroy that income tax that has sucked the vitality out of this state. Finally this week, we found out that some of those Obama stimulus dollars might be used by the state of Georgia to steal jobs from Ohio. Kind of makes you wonder where else those dollars are being abused. And to find that out, State Auditor Mary Taylor has launched a website designed to track Ohio's $8 billion in federal stimulus dollars. Log on to ohiostimulustracker.com and see who's using and abusing stimulus money. It's just another example of Republican leadership bringing accountability to government. From Dublin, Ohio, thanks for watching Ohio GOP TV.